Howdy folks, we've got a couple vehicles set up on the island. I've, um, wow, well, we can get some good balance points off of this map. Um, kind of got a couple vehicles set up, kind of got a plan. We'll go into the game. Wait for the loading screen. I'll get a drink of water. As you can see, we've got um, Maz 538 set up with repair points. I think I'll uh, do most of my scouting with that vehicle. It's got um, thousand liters of fuel and two thousand repair points, but right now it has no gas, or it has very, very little gas. Enough to drive it for maybe five minutes. I've looked on the map and discovered that there is a garage right next to a fuel depot. So I put four points of garage trailer on the skitter. Once I open up the garage, I will switch to a big fuel tank, find the fuel station, haul that back here, fill up the Maz. This is what the map looks like. We're going to um, back out of the map. Here we go, garage fuel station. Of course, we can't tell where they are. We'll have to get down there and search. If I took the time to open up the watch point, I'd be able to be able to see where they are. But um, I need fuel to do anything. So we're going to come down here. We're going to try and follow this follow this road. It's going to turn into a muddy track here. And then basically we want the garage. I'm hoping this goes straight to the garage. And then somewhere along there there'll be a branch for the fuel station. But we're going to have to do a blind. Because I'm not going to the watch point first. If uh, that Maz had started out with enough fuel to get down here. I would take it out first and open up those watch points, but it didn't happen that way. So we'll go back to this thing and we'll get her moving. This only has 200 liters of fuel, but I'm hoping it's enough to get to the garage and then to the fuel station. Make sure I can move my camera around. Looks like we'll need all-wheel drive right off the bat. Especially pulling that garage trailer. That garage trailer is heavy. I'm 
going this way first and then I'm going to cut across. So I'm driving through all that water at least a month. Just crossing it. Never used this John Deere skater before. Has a lot of attachments, but for the most part, you strictly pull them. The only thing you can really attach to the vehicle is either a blade on the front or a crane on the back. Here's a vehicle we can unlock. I actually have one of these. I just don't have it in this game. Let's run up there and bump it and pull the tarp off. Come on, give me a little more. All it does is what you see. Strictly a log skitter. Get rid of all wheel drive on the asphalt here, and maybe we'll get some better mileage. so much for asphalt. Got the garage ahead of us. That'd be cool if we got to the garage that quickly. Come on, come over this way. Sometimes you gotta back out of the throttle to make it steer. It just keeps pushing me away. <laughs> just like that, we got our garage and we get our fuel train. is unlocked.
and put on a big fuel trailer. That one's 1,600 liters. That looks like our fuel stop right there. Um, and we got a bigger fuel trailer. Eighteen hundred liters. Sixteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. All right. We got another. I saw an eighteen hundred up here. Can we attach any repair points? Two hundred. Sure, why not? Blade. I don't believe we have any use for the blade. I'll probably regret saying that later, but... thing in the blade um, parking brake's not on why can't I move the trailer doesn't want to That's odd.
All right, and we have 1,800 liters of fuel. Initially, we can just go up, go fill up the mass. And then um, later, if we start running out in the mass, we can bring it down to where the mass is. Very slow with that much weight behind this. But the mileage isn't that bad. 16, 18 meters per minute. As far as finding the watch points, I'm not sure how great a hill climber this thing would be. Of course, I've never used the Maz 538 before either. I used the Maz 531. And it was slow, but it never stopped the moving. It was uh, real hard not to use my Maz 731 that I normally use. That thing is so capable. going anywhere. That I hate to not use it. But I just got the Maz 538 unlocked. by earning achievement points. And I want to try it out. If it's a piece of crap, well then I'll have to... start over with the 731. And this whole ordeal here will be a bust. But I gotta give it a try. It was that way, wasn't it? I seem to have lost my... Waypoints, yeah. Turn right. I wasn't... Frankly, I wasn't sure right or left. 
Oh, jeez. Right there, if I just simply looked around the corner. And I think I'll leave this off to the side over here and bring the Maz up to it. The fuel trailer has to be hooked to a vehicle to work and I don't want it sitting in front of the garage. Stop. Brake. And in reality I don't even need the engine running. the headlights on. Change truck to the mayors. Fire it up. Parking brake. Ooh, sounds good. Sounds tough. All-wheel drive. Diff lock is permanent. Should be close enough to get fuel. And I think we have to switch back to... The fuel truck. And do advanced. Do fuel. And then spin around. So we can see the mass. And top it off. Fully fueled. Alright, mass is fully fueled. Now we do change truck. Go back to the Maz. And she's ready to go. Headlights. Parking brake. And figure out where we're going. Nearest watch point is right there. Get rid of that. The vehicle we can unlock there. Watch points out there in the middle somewhere. Let's go find it. I've been playing SnowRunner for the last couple of days and the uh, waypoint system on that is miles ahead of this. Miles ahead of it. Everything is so far advanced from this. Ah, uh, we gotta run straight down there, turn left, like Yeah, see <laughs> What I'm trying to do is something you can do in Snow Runner and it doesn't work here. You can drag these waypoints or you could grab the line right in the center and move it down here create another one there
so that it follows the road more. Well, that's not a good start. Going the wrong way. Well, it is fast. It set version too fast. Maybe fast isn't all it's cracked up to be. But I like that 1200 liters of fuel. But look at the mileage, oh my god. Terrible, 54? See, in SnowRunner, it would have given you an arrow on the screen saying you have to turn left. That was something I was commenting on. That I, that I hoped I saw. Something I would like to see in MudRunner. Was an arrow saying, we gotta turn here. There we go, we got the tarp to come off. Oh, it's a fuel truck. I bet it's got fuel in it too. We'll have to keep that in mind for later. Can I just back up for now? Whoa. Um, to keep file size down, I'm probably gonna split these up into various different parts. Alright, now it says to just go up the hill for the watch point. This is where... Now we could try following the road and see if there's um, a muddy path that goes up there. We'll probably try that first before we just start going cross country. We know the watchtower is on our left, up on top of that hill. We might be able to circle around and come up to it where it's not solid rock. Of course, we could climb that rock, but we don't know what's on the other side of it. Could be heavy forest, or maybe the watchtower is right there on top. Have no way of knowing. But that looks tempting. Try out the Maz 538 and. that way I want it to go for that ah. there's a little draw right through there Oh, it's a pond. It's definitely not a watchtower. There it is. Well, hallelujah. That gamble worked out. A little rough getting up the hill, but that's just down. That's just due to the 
steering, trying to use WASD for steering the damn thing, and plus the poor camera view. If it had a better interior view, I don't know, maybe that I don't know, I like being able to see around me. At any rate, we unlocked the watchtower. Hella fucking new ya. Log station, log kiosk. There's a B-66 vehicle over here which has 246 liters of fuel in it. We might hit that just to top off on the way to the other watch point. This B-131 does have fuel in it. Shit, if I'd known that, I would have driven the Maz there, got some fuel. Then over here, uh, then the watchtower, then over here, got some fuel. But, you know, I could drain both of those and not get 1,200 liters. So, next watch point. That's what we're doing. We're opening up watch points. So, here, turn left, find the beginning of that muddy road. Here, come across the river. Turn here, come up here, turn left, and then find the watch point. Hmm, that looks cool. Well, we gotta go that way. Onward. So far this thing seems just about as capable as the eight wheel mass. The eight by eight. But I don't know how it'll do with a heavy load behind. See that eight by eight, that mass thirty seven one seven thirty one, the eight by eight. That thing doesn't care if it's got a load behind it. It looks like my... Looks like my mod for knocking down trees is working in, on this map. On the last map, on the last couple maps it wouldn't work. Okay, we found the lock kiosk. But we gotta go that way. The lock kiosk will come in handy later. And we gotta go to the lumber mill. There's that other fuel truck. Bump. Hmm. Said it was fuel, but it has a has a cargo box on the back. Let's look at the map quick. Uh, oh, it has fuel and 
repair points has repair points we could grab the repair points I think that'll be close enough We do carry our own repair points. But why are you why use ours if we can use somebody else's? Garage utility tent is empty. Spare wheel is empty. Fuel. Fully fueled. And there's 98 liters left. Well, we sucked her dry pretty much. Change truck. Almost fully repaired it. I can see this thing is, um, you know, using the regular MAS might be the regular MAS 538 instead of the, instead of the 538, 538 version too fast. Might be better off because the mileage on this thing sucks 104 liters per minute I saw well let's try taking off the take off the fucking parking brake that helps I forgot whenever you jump out of a truck it puts the parking brake on Okay, this is where we're go this is where we're off road to find the watch point. There is a trail through here going toward the watch point. And this is better, you know, twenty six, forty four. That hundred and four was because I had the parking brake on. But look at it. Look at it ramble through this shit. I gotta make sure we don't pass the watch point without even seeing it. Wow, this thing just eats that shit up. Yeah, see, we did. We went half a mile past the watch point without even noticing it was there. There's a lock station. So that's where the road went. Uh, we just... <laughs> ah, we just climbed over the pile. No, I didn't want advanced options. 
I don't care about the log station. I want to know where the watch point is. We have to continue turning left. I mean, I appreciate that it's, it, you know, it's so eager to give us some logs, but um, I'm not here for that right now. We gotta watch the damage on this thing, busting through those trees. We can knock them down, but we gotta hit them slower. There it is. Doesn't appear till you're right on top of it. Maybe I need to increase the draw distance. All right, that's two. That's two down, boys. The uh, left and right mouse buttons are backwards on SnowRunner to MudRunner. Hmm. All right, we might as well go. Um, might as well go get back on this road, which goes into here which goes into the garage we can repair at the garage we can fuel up at the fuel station and then we can head for this watch point man we're knocking these down see the way the other one does it you don't have this big ok sign here so you can see what you're doing. It doesn't cover up what you're trying to... Whoops. Click that OK. It doesn't cover up what you're trying to see. No, that's too far. That's too far. It's like right there. And then follow the road. We'll probably split off to the fuel station. And then hit the garage. And then head up here. There's obviously more trail that way, but um, don't really care where that goes right now. Follows the shoreline. That might come in handy later. tempted to see how deep that gets out there. Whoa, yeah. If you get out there a ways it starts getting deep. the way you're supposed to come in the log station. Oh, 
which ways are well our compass is pointing that way there's the line of the ground that's another thing in the snow runner the line is a really bright light blue and there's 54 more damage Damn, keep it on the road. Now they froze. Is it gonna come back? Yes, came back. Sometimes it does that. Oh, it's the computer doing background processes or what? Or if it's just the game glitching out. Now we'll fix our damage. We got our fuel, we'll fix our damage. Sometimes it does that and locks up the computer. Sometimes it does that and comes back. Damage is good. So let's go find more watch points. We gotta flip around 180. And do more damage. Well, we're in the place to fix it. Check our map. We still have to turn left. And there's a road going to the left. How convenient is that? Did more damage the first tree we ran on. And the watch point is right there. We're gonna go down to the we're not gonna bust our way through the trees. We're gonna go down to the beach. Look at that big marker buoy out there. Looks like it's got some antennas on it. There's some kind of radio tower or something on the island. I wonder if you could go out to the island. Or if it would get too deep. I bet it would get too deep. What do you think? You want to take bets that it gets too deep? Yeah, dangerous water level. Hit this tree soft and you hit him soft. Soft. Then you don't do damage, it just knocks it over. See, that did not increase our damage. But we gotta back up and get in the black circle. I thought we were. Do we have to not actually knock the flag down? There we go. Have to actually knock the flag down, I guess. All right. There's us. Fuel station, garage. Doesn't even show that stuff that's out there. Just scenery. Now, watch point. Lumber mill watch point. Over there. And that's it. We got one left and we've got the whole map open. That's got to be your record. Of course, this is a small map. Being an island, I guess. So we could just turn around. Let's 
go back to the truck. Oh gosh, we haven't used enough fuel to worry about going back to the fuel station. It would take, we've only used 25 liters, it would take 25 liters to get back there. But fuck, you know, it's on the way. This doesn't show a path through here. <laughs> uh, we'll go over the mountain. Or whatever the fuck it is. And I would imagine... Go through the lumber mill on the way to the watch point. There's our next mission. We have to... Do a little three-point turn. And make our way to the... fuel station. Oh, well, we went over... <laughs> went over that rock in reverse. Yeah, I wonder. If we could just keep following. You know, if we skip the fuel station, we could just keep following this shoreline. We'll end up following the shoreline anyways. We will end up following that shoreline. We'll come back out to that shoreline right up there after we hit fuel. Just bump it over. That one we hit harder. Cause damage. Now our zero damage. And where's the fuel station? Compass says left. Oh, we missed the turn for the fuel station. But we can get there from here. Stop. We feel That 
little tree was 11 damage. Or maybe it was just bouncing over the rocks, I don't know. Bouncing off of that rock caused damage. This thing takes damage too easily. I mean, it's a modded vehicle, so... I mean, the parameters that the developer set <clears throat> is what it's going by as far as fuel usage and how easily it takes damage things like that I mean but it's taking damage simply from bouncing over these rocks and the vanilla version of this vehicle would not do that but it also wouldn't have 2800 damage points it might have 1200 and it might carry 600 liters of fuel instead of 1200 the uh, Maz 7 the Maz 531 that I drove carried 600 liters of fuel and had something like Oh shit, I don't know, 780 or 1200 damage points. What's this? This is another field truck. Ah. Well, this has 2000 repair points. No, that was me. I, I'm carrying 2,000 repair points. 68 repair points and 642 liters of fuel. Have to remember that later if we need it. That spare tire I'm carrying has 2,000 repair points. Even though that spare tire looks like it's all tore up. Alright, the lumber mill. Keep bouncing through the trees here. Try and take it easy. Miss, try to miss some of them. Is that that that's the watchtower right in front of us? Okay, this we're gonna have to knock down something. I suppose if you couldn't just knock down the trees, you could follow the shoreline. Maybe dip into the water a little bit and come up come up through here where you can get between the trees alright that's the last thing we had to open up whole map is open lumber mill is up there the nearest garage to grab to uh, reconfigure is back here there's a log kiosk right there lumber mill is back over here but there's also a lumber mill up here of course we have to deliver to both of them We 
we could grab eight points out of here and make one trip to this lumber mill and top it off. Then jump in the jump in the skitter, the John Deere, configure it for an eight point trailer. Run over here to this log kiosk or that one and come down. Yeah, jump in the skitter with an eight point trailer. Do this log kiosk and come straight back to this lumber mill, deliver eight points, and we're done with this map. But right now, um, we've been going for 45 minutes or so. In the interest of um, keeping the file size a little smaller, I'm going to break this up into separate parts. So I'm going to end it right here. And um, use the bathroom. Maybe have a little lunch. And then come right back and start the next part. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.